Hey there my lovelies, Princely here, and this is another unboxing video! Yay! Uh, as you can tell, this uh, unboxing video is a little different from the usual ones that I've done, as you can see, because this will be consisting of a narration and some pictures that I took during the unboxing process, since I didn't really have a camera nor the right setup to actually do a proper unboxing situation. But, here we go anyway! Also, excuse any noise in the background, that's most likely my rats, or my cat. So, you know. But anyway, let's get into this! So, I was lucky enough to be offered a chance to collaborate with Hueon again for the second time, which is amazing. I love their brand of tablets. Uh, it's my favorite tablet to use when I'm drawing. And yeah, I was so excited to try this guy out. So the model I've got here is the Hueon HS610, which uh, the presentation of the box itself is really nice. I like it. Uh, smaller than I thought just by a little bit, but still, it's awesome! So when I open the box, uh, first off the bat, little thank you card, which is so nice, and it's adorable, so I loved that. Uh, following that, there was actually a sticker sheet, which I thought was really cute too. It's got their little um, mascot for it and doing like a bunch of things. I've actually taken all the stickers and put them all over my desk. I love it! So moving out away from the stickers and the initial thank you note, we have the tablet itself. As well with that, it also comes with the plug-in cord, a stylus, a warranty card, your little manual, everything that you need to know, as well as a little stylus holder, uh, one of those drawing gloves, which is awesome, I've never had one and I love it, as well as these little tiny devices that you can plug into your computer, your tablet, and if you have an Android phone, you can actually control uh, the inner workings of your phone through the tablet, which I think is pretty cool. I myself don't have an Android, so I can't really show you guys how it works. I have an iPhone, but I put a little uh, shot of the actual instructions for the Android setup, so you guys know I'm not lying. With that, when the tablet itself is actually unwrapped and out in the open, it is beautiful. I love the uh, the borderless look around it. I think that's just really nice. I feel like it's elegant. The tablet itself has like a very, um, it has a texture to it, which is really nice. It feels nice when you're drawing and everything like that. I really appreciate it. Uh, obviously, I'm left-handed, so unfortunately us lefties have to turn our tablet and use it upside down most of the time. Or well, at least I do, so my hands aren't constantly bumping on the uh, buttons and everything like that. With this guy, you've got all of your programmable buttons on the side, as well as a ring. So you can actually zoom in and out of your work, do stuff all like that, program it to do what it needs to, which I think is really cool. Very nice upgrade from the uh, previous tablet that I had from them. Now the speed paint that I actually did with this tablet has already been uploaded. I think it got uploaded about a week ago, actually. Uh, so if you guys want to actually go check out what this tablet can do, I'll leave a link in the description, as well as maybe something up on the screen at the end so you guys can go check it out. Uh, it's a speed paint I did of one of my first fan artworks uh, from Umbrella Academy. I did a lovely little picture of Klaus, so if you guys like Umbrella Academy, go check that out! Anyway, let's talk about the pros and cons with this guy. Let's start off with the good stuff. Uh, the pros. This guy is, it's a perfect size, it's slightly smaller than the tablet that I use at the moment, which I feel like isn't that much of a bad thing. I feel like it's the right size for my desk, uh, the right size for my setup, and it all works really well. Aside from that, we've got the actual texture of the board itself is very pleasant, very nice to work with, like I, I very much enjoyed using it while I was drawing, which was nice. You've got all of your programmable keys as well, as well as the little touch ring, which I thought was a nice added thing. I could probably go on forever and ever about all the nice stuff that this guy has, as well as the, the little add-ons, so you've got your Android adapter, as well as the drawing glove. The stylus is nice, they've kept with their original design with the tapered end, which I really nice. It's very natural in your hand, and it's very pleasant to draw with. And let's talk about the cons of this tablet. Very hard to think of some, to be honest. Uh, the one thing I could probably think of that this thing is wired, so uh, no Bluetooth. So essentially, unless you have like a 10 feet cord micro USB cable, you've got to stay somewhat relatively close to your screen while you're drawing. Now that's not a bad thing essentially, a lot of people usually stay relatively close to their screens while they're drawing, though I know some people do like to sit up on larger monitors and keep their distance, but you know, it's all personal preference in the end. 
I can't really think of anything else that I could use as a con, to be honest. Uh, yeah, a wireless feature would probably be nice. Aside from that, this tablet is really nice to work with. It's very easy to use, very easy to set up. Um, it works with the programs that I use. I personally use Paint Dill Sai and Photoshop, and they work really well with those. And yeah, uh, they're fairly cheap too, which is awesome. So if you guys really do like what I'm showing off to you guys here, I'll leave links in the description for you guys to check out the tablet and a little discount code since my friends at Hueyon decided to uh, help us out a little bit, which I think is pretty neat. Okay, so I'll stop rambling. You guys should uh, go check out the little speed paint I did as well as maybe even just check out the tablet if you like drawing. Love yous!